Casey Gray here and on today's video we're giving an update as to where we're at on the Chainsaw Retrofit project. You coming down? Hi, I'm Carl Gibson from Citywide Demolition and today we're taking down a two-story side addition in tight quarters. Got a little chunk of tin. So where we're standing now is gonna be a new one-story addition with a flat roof on top of us. Um, the flat roof is gonna be used as access to the back addition so that the homeowners now have a nice walkout patio for out of the master bedroom. Uh, and this will be front storage, bikes, mud, mud room entryway. It's not something we deal with as often in this market. So we wanted to I'd do some investigation work and see what we could and couldn't do. Uh, it turned out to be a pretty good idea because most of the ideas of what we were going to do is going to work out, but we did find one back there on the chimney behind me that's actually not going to be able to come off. It's actually supporting the brick above it. Uh, so there's actually two wides of brick inside of that chimney that are sitting on it. Uh, so it's going to have to stay, to take it off would have been a pretty large amount of work and pretty expensive. So the chimney to my right here is gonna come off because it's pretty simple. Uh, it's, it's like we typically see where the chimney itself kind of supports its own weight, but really doesn't support the house. And now our engineer and architect are gonna be able to come by and see exactly what they're able to do with the project versus guessing and then changing it after we do the demo. Because we're insulating this house from the outside, it's gonna get thicker. So it's gonna encroach into this alleyway a little bit. That's part of the reason why we were hoping to take these chimneys off, uh, just to make it so that it's not as narrow down there. Um, but we're gonna have to figure out a new solution to that. Less insulation, insulate maybe from the inside, uh, maybe kill the wrap at the chimney and then kind of transfer it to the inside face of it. We'll see. We're also waiting for Chris Straka to finalize the roof detail because we decided to keep the back addition as opposed to ripping it off and doing a whole new addition. So now we have a new side addition, existing back addition, but the roof needs to be rebuilt. And the idea with that roof is to extend it out on either side to maybe cover up the canoe on the one side when it's in storage and to cover up a little side deck on the other side. Uh, so between him uh, as well as the engineer, and once they work those details out, then we'll be able to get the demolition crew back here to rip off the roof and we can get that roof framed up. Yeah, today we're uh, finalizing drawings for that flat roof uh, with uh, the architect and with the structural engineer, Ian Malcolm. Uh, and after that's done, then there's some other finalization of uh, the structure that will be used to wrap the outside of the brick uh, in preparation for insulating the outside of the building. Mm -hmm. um, it's down to the, the simply the details of, the, of that structure, you know, which, which piece of timber bears on which. Uh, how are the connections being made between these uh, pieces of uh, material. Mm -hmm. uh, some of this uh, has been designed in advance and then had to be redesigned as we changed the scope. Uh, and, uh, and so this is the latest, uh, the latest step. Once that's determined and we've uh, chosen insulation material, then uh, it should be all systems go for, for the wrap and mm -hmm. for that roof rebuild. And one other thing we're waiting on is in the basement. We're waiting on a drawing about... Yes. Uh, There's a new concrete post that needs to be built to support uh, part of the uh, old uh, brick wall that's crumbling away. Mm -hmm. If you haven't already, please hit subscribe to stay updated on this project as well as all the other exciting projects that we have going on. And also, if you haven't checked it out yet, we've started something called the Conscious Builder Academy. You can learn more by going to ConsciousBuilderAcademy.com.